Protests have erupted in Taiwan against the Chinese officials' visit to the island as the Chinese delegation arrived. Pro Taiwanese independence groups started sloganeering outside of the airport. If we get the feeling that they, the delegation, are engaging in united front work, we won't give them a goodbye party when they leave. Instead, we will condemn and protest against them. So our welcoming attitude is based on this condition. Our hospitality has conditions. We welcome them, but at the same time, we want them to be clearly aware that they have arrived in a country that's separate from the People's Republic of China. Our country is called Taiwan. We are here to welcome a Communist Party politician from Shanghai. We want to welcome him to a free and democratic Taiwan and hope he will learn what is freedom and democracy. The Chinese delegation was also welcomed by the few Chinese supporters. The visit is, of course, the first one in three years since the COVID-19 pandemic began during the visit. The Chinese officials are scheduled to attend the Lantern Festival. The six-member delegation is led by Liu Zhedong, who is the deputy head of the Shanghai branch of China's Taiwan Affairs Office. The Chinese dignitaries were invited by the regional government of capital Taipei. The move marks Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen's government's cautious bid to reopen less sensitive people-to-people -people links, aiming to engender goodwill with China. The visit comes at a time when bilateral ties between China and Taiwan are at an all-time low. China considers Taiwan to be a part of its mainland. It believes that Taiwan's reunification with the mainland is simply inevitable. The ties between Beijing and Taipei have turned sour after the US Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's island visit last year. In response, China had staged massive military drills and it also imposed a blockade on Taiwan. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.